what's going on guys my name is Silver Sky and welcome back to another episode of Potter World MC it's been a while since I've been on here yep I know a lot of changes have happened have, uh, I'll try that again a lot of changes have happened since my last episode on here uh, before I get into all that I, I should probably say first off congratulations to Ravens you won the quarterly house cup Cup, yeah, cup. Yep. Congrats, well done. You guys deserve it. I saw the points and I was like, there's no chance. I mean, you can see right there. Look at that. We had no chance. Serpents came second, yes, but ooh, they won by a mile. Like I said, there's been a lot of changes and everything, so I'm going to start here. First off, you'll notice that Tommy Riddle has gone. Yeah, the guy that was giving these uh, daily quests or daily riddles or something, he's gone. I don't know if he's going to make a return sometime, uh, and I've just noticed something else, so he might have been replaced. This guy's here to tell us about all the new things that are going on. He's the start of a quest in the wilderness, which I will get to in a little while. Along with that, there are now levels in this game and stats and whatnot. And there's jobs. So you got a professional recruiter here. There's mm. three different jobs, if I'm not mistaken. Hey there, you. Mm. Yes, you. Would you be interested in trying out professions? Professions are essentially mm. jobs. That, uh, you're going too fast. Okay. Well, there's, there's three different jobs, yeah. So I can see the information about them and I can go and uh, do the introductory quest. Now, let's have a look at the things. So, the three different jobs are potions, cooking, and herbology. Now, if I do any of these jobs, I, I believe I can do any of them. I don't have to stick to one. I can do. I can mix and match any time I want. Basically, the way it works now, there's levels. There's a certain amount of levels I need to go through each year. Yeah, if I click on here, you'll notice it says year two. Apparently, I'm in year two. So if I do slash me level eleven, each if I'm not mistaken, it's every ten levels. Uh, is a year so I can level up to level 20 in order to become a third year student so right now I'm a second year student the other thing that's new is all these stats you've got different stats in here you've got health magic power this is all we can add things to here to make them better better so it uh, on this defense as well I don't know how the defense one goes up on top of that you see at below uh, defense it says elemental types we can increase all of those uh, different uh, magic and elements. I've got 33 points available for me to spend. I don't know if that means I've got to spend them on health, magic, health, magic, power and defense or the other ones. But, you know, we'll have a look at that afterwards. I know there were a few changes where as far as uh, appearances and stuff goes. So there's all that as well. Now, there's more downstairs. If I go, if I go down to that uh, trophy room, actually, I can take this contact. Trophy room. There we go. Here we go. Talents and stats. Now there used to be the spell teacher here, right? Talents and stats is what's replaced it. Uh, you're probably wondering, well, if the spell teacher is gone, before I should get into this, how do you get more spells? Now, as you level up, you get more spells. Now, you'll notice. I've got more spells than I had before, right? So I've got this spell as well, which I... Uh, Ignis, focus your magic in, in a frontal cone, igniting targets in front of you. Sounds quite good. Uh, we have a look at the other one. There's even more here. Some of these have been changed, so these images. I had that before. Incendo I had before as well. Aperio, uh, compel hidden passages hidden by enchantments to reveal themselves. I might need to check that out. I think I know of at least one place where I can use that. And Epiphio, uh, momentarily pause as you let magic flow through your body, finding finding minor injuries and mending them, but requiring complete concentration. So, yeah, spells are now all different. Talents, let's have a look at here. Uh, we can learn more about the talent system through here. Yeah, so for each, for every time I get through these levels, so the next, um, when I get to level 20, I'll get another talent point. So right now I should have two talent points that I can use. Uh, I can put those talent points into medicinal magic, 
So healing, tanking, uh, damage. So basically, it's just a, a hierarchy, right? So I've yeah, I've got two out of two points that I need to use. I can put it into medicinal. I can put it into defensive, or I can put it into curses, hexes, and jinxes. Now I don't have to focus on just one tree at a time. These do go further down. Um, I think I think I might go into curses. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put one on there. Oh, look at this. Jinxes for dummies, volume one, tier one, spell radius boost, plus fifty percent, increases the radius of your AoE spells. Price one talent points. So I'm gonna put that in. There you go. Now that opens up these two. And I, again, I can use one talent point in there. So I can go through the whole thing. Um, there are limited amount of talent points that I can get. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine talent points is all I can get in total. So after that, I don't know what happens because I don't know if anyone's actually got there yet. Stats. Oh, we had to look at the stats before. I've got 33 stat points to put in. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I may put a bit into power and a bit into health. Or actually, this one gives me more magic, right? And increases how quick it regenerates. Uh, this one will give me more health. And this one will just give me a, a power boost. And with, oh, overall damage. So that might be interesting to do. Now, as I said, I am a second year student. In um, in between episodes, before this uh, update came out, it's been, I think the update's been about out for about a week and a bit, or maybe two weeks now. I was doing a lot of grinding, yeah? I had voting tokens to use. I had mini game tokens to use. I had got game tokens to use. I got academic credits. The academic credits is what I needed to get the remaining four spells I needed. Um, the voting tokens I was going to use to get more academic credits. The mini game tokens and game tokens I can use them to get gold. So hopefully it's not too bad now. But now here's the thing. I noticed this here says daily reward. Thank you for playing on Potter World. Uh, reward 2.5% experience. So now I am getting... Oh. Okay, so yeah, I've, I just gained 2.5% experience. I wonder if that means I'll get 2.5% of everything I do from now, or is that 2.5% from everything I've got so far? I mentioned uh, Traveller here. He's the start of some mm. new quests. Let's go have a look at what he has to say. Uh, wilderness. Wilderness. Hey, you there. The wilderness is one of the most magical and mysterious places in the magical world, containing magical objects with an immense power, as well as providing life for one of the most dangerous magical creatures known to the wizard world. Can you go there and retrieve a living stone from me? I don't know what a living stone is, but yeah, sure, I'll accept. Mm. Uh, thank you so much for one... Ooh. Mm. Thank you so much for wanting to help me. Let, let me tell mm. you a bit about the wilderness from what I know at least. Mm. Uh, it's filled with mobs everywhere and has a few special mm. areas where that certain mob has claimed. Well, mm. that's nice to know, isn't it? Mm. Uh, there's a un Oh, there's a unicorn area, as well as a dark, obscural area. Oh, mm. I'm not going to go there. Be careful if you were to enter it. Yeah, unicorns are quite dangerous, aren't they? There's also five villages that you can visit. From what I've heard, there seems to be a few... Mystical buildings placed everywhere as well. There's plenty of caves, but be careful if you were to enter one. They can be some dangerous creatures there. I know this is a lot of information, so here's my journal. Let me just change my name of my book real quick. There we go. Now, last thing before you head off, there's something called resource nodes placed everywhere on the map. If you find one, click on it. It'll give you a few items that you can use for your professions. You can find the boathouse. Oh, yeah, I already know where the boathouse is, actually. Thank you. Right, so he gave me this book, Wilderness Guide, um, Traveller's Journal, the Wilderness. Dear Journal, during my travels at the Wilderness, I've discovered the following things. It's filled with mobs everywhere and has a few special areas where that certain mob has claimed. You're pretty much just repeating back everything that you just told me. I can't go back there, not after what happened. What happened? My best hope is to find someone else who can find me the magical living stone. Okay, so I'll go get you the magical living stone. Hello, the great wolf. And if we were to head down, how many uses has this got left? So two uses left. Um, I might have just wasted that actually. 
No, mate. That's just off. I want you to go get, collect the note. That didn't happen. Nope. That did not happen. Oh, well, well I mean, while I'm here, um, boy, I'm confused. Robot Wiz and whoever you are, you don't do anything. So which one of you is giving off the rewards? Is it here? Or are you giving the reward? Hmm. Uh, get item. Congratulations to Ravens on winning the House Cup. Here's a few items to celebrate this wonderful oh. victory. Right, so that gave me a Raven Rose, Raven Ramen, Raven Quill, Raven House Cup Banner, and Raven House Cup Book. I don't actually need or want any of them at the moment, but let's just leave that all there. Now, here's the thing. Um, my broom only has one use left, and I'd rather save that for the wilderness. Actually, can I use it in the wilderness even? Anyway, we'll find out anyway. So he said to go to the boathouse. Oh, this is going to take a lot of damage, isn't it? Let me just quickly eat. Oh, I do see like a boat there. That's new. I've not seen a boat there before. And where's it going? There it is. Oh, this is where um, the Millennium Falcon was before. What we got, Captain? Hmm. So you want to go to the wilderness, huh? Hmm. As you wish, the boat is one of the finest and fastest boats in the hmm. world, so we'll be there in no time. Let's begin. Hmm. Right, phew. Here we are. What do you mean, phew? Enjoy your stay out in the wilderness, and last but certainly not least, be careful. Okie dokie. Yes, boss. Port key seller. Um... Oakport warp key. Click to travel to Oakport one time use. Can't I just. Do you have. Actually, I've got the wilderness there. I probably don't need this, then, do I? It's five gold. I've only got two gold on me anyway, so. Um, well, what was I supposed to do? Speak to Mayor. Okay, let's find the Mayor. Where's the Mayor? This looks like it's going in. Let's see a few people here. What's this? Lionel and Innkeeper. What's going on up here? I see someone over there. There's someone there. Kane Star. I can't even make my rent. My family founded the Winterfell Stronghold. I should be a king. He doesn't give me anything. What's this collector? Collector. Ooh, collector. Okay. Okay, so if I'm, just, if I'm looking at this right... If I give him these oh. stuff, like pixie dust, a pumpkin, uh, a poisonous toad venom, he'll give me one gold. Huh, okay. That might be a good way of making some quick gold. Oakport, Oakport Guard. Ah, there you are. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, welcome to the windless in our little humble town, hmm. Oakport. Oh. When you leave these borders, you'll begin facing hmm. dangerous mobs. You begin facing dangerous mobs. Mm. Each mob, where am I? Each mob can drop something that you can use for your profession to either cook, plant, oh. or brew with. I haven't really decided which one I'm going to start with. Uh, there are also something called resource resource nodes scattered all around the map. If you find one, interact with it. There's one behind me. Oh. Try interacting with it. That's all I wanted to let you know before you begin your journey here in the wilderness. Okie dokie. So this is a resource node. So what happens if I click it? You found a resource node, and it gave me lentil seed, cheese, mm. and fairy dust. Huh. Okay, so let's just leave that there, and where was I supposed to go? Mm. Let's have a look at my quest book. Uh, collect living stone at 1186149915. Oh, look at all these stuff. Oh, actually, there's, um, I forgot what this is called. Resource node. I, I'm not even gonna. What's that? Oh, I can get it again in six hours. Okay. Right. Oh, there's another one there. If these things are scattered like all over the place. Um. Oh, there we go. I got it. I was worried about I couldn't get it there. Yeah, so if these things are scattered like all over the place. Doesn't that make getting gold like really easily then? Because look, I've already got what wheat revived revived soul. Ooh, pixie dust. 
I don't know if I can sell all of that though, and I definitely don't want to be trying on some of these. I know that's my combat spells right there, and I can't use them. Except this thing. Should we go into this cave? What do you reckon? Anything in here? Oh, there's pixies. Nope, nope. I've, I've gone up against pixies before. They are vicious. They're tiny little creatures, but they are really, really deadly. I do not want to be going up against them right now. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, leave a like, comment, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Found another resource node. What did I get? I got another fairy dust and an ostium seed. Interesting. Ooh, there's a cave up here. Let's head up here. I know um, that this traveler's guide said don't go into caves. Okay. But, let's see. Chicken egg. That looks like corn. There's this thing here sparkling, which usually means quest. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Take the boat back to Hogsworth and deliver the living stone to the traveller. Okay, I see a, another one over there, so I'm gonna quickly go grab this. And, ooh, that, that just spawned out of nowhere. Um, let's just grab this one and head out. I'll tell you what, let's just take this great hall. That worked, ha, huh, that worked. <laughs> I didn't think that would work. Okay, so who do I need to give this to? I need to go to the traveler. Oh, I need to go back. I got all this stuff I need to sell. Let's um, let's give this to the traveler. Mm. You have completed the wilderness quest. Oh, I got 2,000 experience from mm. that. Thank you for your help, fellow traveler. I hope you... I hope I gave you an easy introduction to the wilderness. You can keep my journal as a thank you for this rock. Here's some other goods too I got from the wilderness. Good luck, traveler. Okay, so... He gave me, um, I think he gave me some pumpkin, and he gave me an oak port warp key. I won't be in a rush to use that anytime soon, but I do have all this stuff that I want to go and try and sell, actually. Okay, I am back at Oakport Harbour, I think it was called. Was it mm. Oakport Harbour? Uh, or is it just Oakport? It looks like it's just Oakport. So this guy I should be able to sell him cheese yep what's this fairy egg okay so I tell you let's just go this yeah I can sell that Ooh, there's something really horrible sounding behind me I don't know what it is but I all I know is I don't want to look fairy egg yeah I can sell that fairy dust fairy oh. dust Anything else I can sell? Daisy. What? Gravestone mm -hmm. fragments. Revived soul. Okay, so I've sold everything that I can sell. Can I not sell this? Okay. Coffee beans. Place this in a pot mm -hmm. to grow it. I don't know. I don't know what it means by pot. I'm guessing it means a flower pot. Oh, I can sell more revived soul. And wheat. Okay, so mm. when I started this episode, I only had two gold. Let's take a look. How much have I got? I got twenty gold. I got twenty gold. That's that's some easy gold. Mm. That is some seriously easy gold. Because all I gotta do is just go out here. Every six hours, these things will reset, and mm. at the same time, I can explore and collect. Resources to, oop, run. Yeah, at the same time, I can collect resources that will, well, give me gold. On that note, I think I just found my new best friend, Collector, here. And I think I'm going to end the episode here today. Next episode, we'll check out uh, something else that I just found in the wilderness, just before I got killed or brutally murdered. And maybe we'll do a bit of um, some jobs, some other profession stuff. Who knows? We'll see. In the meantime, I think I'll, I might attend like one or two classes. It should help me with uh, leveling up a bit more so that I can get prepared for level 
for year three, sorry, not level three. Uh, I am still, if I'm not mistaken, I'm still level 11, but I'm close to becoming level 12. Only a thousand more XP and I will be there. Hmm. Right. Well, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this, you know, please leave me a, leave a like, leave a comment, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.